Hi guys! Number one, I'm sick. And so if my voice, my nose, whatever starts to bug you, I'm sorry. Number two, I am so excited for this video, which is why I didn't wait till I got better. Basically, I went shopping on the line. And this lovely box here is from Mod Cloth. I ordered it about two weeks ago. And yeah, I just can't wait to open it up. I'm hoping nothing in here is broken, which is a possibility because um, I did order some random items, I think, but I'm super excited. So there's some clothes in here, and I'll try to make it into a try-on haul, I think. This is just a list of everything I ordered, which, as you can probably see, is a lot of things. I don't know if you guys can tell. If you can see, but this is the inside of it. Let's do the clothes first. So the first thing I'm grabbing here is a sweater. I'm so excited for this sweater. Um, I've had it in my shopping cart for months, and I just thought it was so cute and different. Not like anything I have. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys what it looks like on. It's from, well, it says Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, um, illustrated by... Hugh Johnson. Um, I really like the collar, how it's kind of the, uh, looks like cut off kind of collar and it's super fleecy. I thought this would look so cute with jeans. I don't really have anything like it. Everything I have that's kind of a hoodie like this has a hood, whereas this doesn't. So this is just the back and the front. And obviously, I'll show you guys a clip of what it looks like on. I think it was around $40, uh, 50 bucks maybe. Um, the one thing I will say about the site is if you are Canadian, you have to be cautious um, because I didn't actually realize the prices were in American only and they didn't do Canadian dollars because then the next day when I checked my visa statement, it was $100 more than I had anticipated. Um, but yeah, I don't actually remember ordering this here. Um, if you guys will notice, I am obsessed with this color though, so, yeah, try and figure out how to open this. It looks like this is just a t-shirt in a bag. Ooh, I really like this. This is really just nice, kind of mint greeny color, aqua color. I don't really know what color this is, but I'm obsessed with this. I live in t-shirts like this. I have so many of them. I actually didn't know I kept this in my cart, but it looks like it's going to be pretty long and flowy and wide and not tight, which I love. Next is pretty much the same color. This is a sweater. Definitely, I don't remember what any of these look like online. This is definitely also loose, flowy. I thought this would be really nice for the summer too. It's nice and wide and big. And it looked like it might be a little bit of a shark bite there at the bottom. Um, I really like this. This will be cute with like a white tank top under, on underneath. Mm -hmm. What I didn't tell you guys is that um, I originally made this order with the intention of buying two items. Just two dresses. Which I did get. And I got a whole pile of other things. This next item is a cobalt blue. Um, I thought this looked so cute. It's a tunic. Um, wear it with those, um, leggings, I thought it would be super cute for the summer, but got me, I really like this actually, how it ties up in the front, got me is the back. I love this cage detail, and this is actually the reason why my husband told me to buy it too, it's because this cage detail is so cool, and I think this is really nice. <laughs> Going through this, I actually don't remember getting all these items, this is kind of funny. It's like a surprise. Even though it was only a couple weeks ago that I ordered it, I still think this is really cool. Oh, I like this one a lot too. Um, it's kind of like a baseball tee. I love the colors. I don't actually have any red t-shirts, so that's why I kind of went for the red. This would be really cute, flowy, long, kind of short bite detailing again, I think that's what that's called. And this would be cute with leggings too. And the thing that got me on this one also was the little keyhole in the back. And also this is the reason why my husband told me to order it too. 
is because of the keyhole in the back. This one here, I wasn't sure if I was going to actually go through with it or not. Um, I know my hubby didn't really like it. Which I know his opinion doesn't really, I mean it matters, but realistically if I like something I should just get it. But it's a cobalt blue tank with an owl on the front. I thought this owl was so freaking cute. But this is the main reason why I ordered it. I thought if it was too big for me I could give it to my sister-in-law because she really likes owls too. But I thought this would look super cute with white shorts. Because I think blue and white shorts are so cute together. So I like that. This one here is a plaid shirt. It's a flannel. Um, I have so many plaid shirts. I think I have about five. But all of them are like the blue and white and black or whatever plaid. There's no like really any difference between the colors. So I decided I wanted just a plain one. And all of mine, this actually isn't really flannel. What is this material? I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see if we can figure this out together. It's cotton. 98% cotton, 2% spandex. So this might shrink, actually. But um, it looks pretty long. It looks like it's going to be really comfortable. I thought it would be cute with like a white tank top, black tank top. Maybe even like a blue tank top. I don't know. Underneath, or it could be tied around the waist. I really like this. Hopefully these all fit nicely. And it has the button here on the sleeve. So that I can roll it up. If I want. Um, sorry I'm not saying any of the prices again. Um, everything I got, like all the tops I got, are less than $50. I was not going to spend more than 50 bucks on a shirt. I really wanted just some nice dressy shirts because, <coughs> excuse me, I'm lacking in the dressy shirt compartment. Most of mine are really like relaxed, just t-shirts, kind of like that mint green one I showed you, or whatever green color that is. So that's why I got this one, is because I love the lace detailing on it. Oops. Um, it just kind of looks like that. I like the front, how it's kind of scoop neck. Um, oatmeal kind of color. Oatmeal? I don't know. I'm terrible with colors, guys. I'm sorry. I love the crochet here and then how it kind of goes to lace along here. I thought it was really pretty. So the back of it is like this. I also like how the sleeves are like the cap sleeve I think that's what you call them yeah I don't know with the crochet and then back and then the bottom has the crochet on it too and I thought that was really pretty and I'm really excited for this hopefully this color looks okay on me I didn't really consider it uh, it's kind of the same color as my shirt but a little darker so I'm excited for this though that's really pretty oh boy once again it is that same color, and I'm so excited for this one. Um, this is so soft, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is oversized sweater. I <laughs> love it. Oh my gosh. I can just put this on right now. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like it might be a little off the shoulder. It's big. It's a small. It's, it is a small. Keep that in mind. Everything I got, I think, is in a small. But yeah, I love how the shoulders are kind of long and then the sleeves go long. And oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel this. It is so soft. And I love, love the color. There's nothing really special about this other than the color of it. Um, it's not fleecy on the inside. It actually feels kind of like a nylon color fabric. Um, I don't even know. Oh, okay. Here, let's tell you what it is. It is polyester, rayon, and lycra. So just cheap fabrics, but I don't even care because it's soft and it's going to be amazingly comfortable to wear. And it's a great spring-summer color for those colder days. Okay, this one is definitely, I think this was about $60, this sweater. And I had to get it because if you have watched any of my previous videos, you would know that I am a dog lover. And I have a dog, and she's a Rottweiler, and she's in the kitchen right now, just chilling on the floor. But I had to get this sweater, so it's ask me about my dog. It is fleece, which I love fleece, and I just needed this. I'm not going to lie, it smells funny right now. It smells really funny, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's in a small, it looks pretty big, so that's awesome. And oh my gosh, you guys, ask me about my dog. I cannot wait for this. 
Now, I will show you guys the two items that um, are the reason for this whole order. So, the two dresses that I got, this one here that I'm about to show you is black. It's a dress, obviously. Um, it actually feels quite cheaply made. Oh, I'm disappointed about that. That's okay. Whatever. I got it for a wedding. So, I'm hoping... I'm in the bridal party, and I'm kind of thinking, looking at it, that it might be too cheaply made. For the wedding. Oh, that's unfortunate. I got it because I really like the... Oops, just hit my face. The neckline of it, how it kind of scoops down. It's got the lace on the shoulders. My dress had to have lace in it. I don't know if my, made a, uh, my, if my friend, the bride, wanted it to be all lace or just partly lace. I do have an all lace dress that I can wear otherwise. But I liked how it has kind of like the sweetheart neckline and then kind of this knot here in the front, I guess. Um, I'm going to have to see how this looks on, because I thought the material was going to be thicker than this, and I'll definitely have to wear, like, shorts or a slip underneath it, I think, looking at it. Um, it's 65% cotton, 30% polyester, 5% spandex. I think this is around $60, this dress, so the dresses were a little pricier, but still cheap, and maybe I should have forked out a little more money. <laughs> There was one I had my eye on and they never had it back in stock, so I went with this one and, um, I don't know, I'm a little disappointed, but I'll have to see what it looks like on. This one here is for another kind of wedding type event. It's for my friend's, um, bridal shower. We're going to do a tea party and it's going to be at my house, so I'm really excited for that. Um, with that, we're having, going to be wearing hats. Kind of like the Kate Middleton, is that her name? Kate Middleton, the princess. Um, kind of like her hats that she always wears. And then we're going to wear fancy dresses. So, I saw this dress on model cloth and I was like, um, I need that in my life. And I think, actually, it's going to be super cute. I like the floral design. I think it's very garden party-esque. So, yeah, it's nice and flowy. Hopefully this fits. Um, I like the front, how it kind of crosses over. Uh, interesting. Yeah, so hopefully it's not too short. I am a short person, so this could probably be great. I really like it. There's two items left. These two are totally random. These are just kind of house items. <laughs> this is totally stupid. Um, it's a Kleenex box case. You basically get like one of those square... Kleenex boxes, you put it inside, and then you pull your Kleenex out through here. Uh, this is in that color that I'm obsessed with, that I'm pretty sure every girl is, like, obsessed with. I thought this would be cute in my spare room, because my colors are this, um, pale pink and gray. So, and white. I don't know, maybe it's too much color, but I thought this would just be a nice little pop of color. In there. Let's put that there for now. Uh, I'm hoping this is not broken. I'd be very sad if it was. This is actually probably what I'm really excited about, just to see what it's like. Um, it's a cookie jar. I'll tell you guys that much. And actually well packed, so I'm happy about that. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, guys, this is it. It is an owl cookie jar. And I am so excited. I don't really know how many cookies you can fit in there. Um, but it's so cute. I grew up with an owl cookie jar in my house. And I think this is adorable. It does have some chips on the side here. If you guys can see. Which is disappointing. But I don't think it's that noticeable. And it's really just going to go in a corner in my kitchen. And it's my favorite color. And I'm so excited. This is awesome. I love this. Alright guys, so the box is now empty, and all my clothes are in a pile beside me here. So I'm going to go try them on for you, insert the clips into this so that you can see them as I'm talking about them, and yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!